What's up, YouTube? This your man in Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. Now, I have been asked this question so many times. I actually can't even count how many times I've been asked this question. And that is, how in the hell can you delete the other data that's stored on your Mac? Now, in the past, I posted a video on YouTube on how to delete the other data on your iOS device. But in this video, I'm going to show you guys of basically what the other data is and how you can get rid of it. So, let's jump into it. The first thing you want to do is go up to your Apple symbol. Once you're there, just choose on about this Mac. Now we want to go inside more info. Now we just want to click on where it says storage. Now here's the good stuff. We have iBrand OS X. This is my main hard drive. So let's talk about the other data. Basically what the other data is, which is right here, you'll see is yellow. You'll see here I have 74.54 gigabytes of other data that's being used on my Mac. You know, uh, it's pretty much just like from spotlight searches, from using Google Chrome, from using Safari, maybe music, the files that we're not listening to anymore on our Mac, movies that we're no longer watching, and I mean pictures and just so on. So if you've seen my previous video, I'll be sure to put that link down in the description as well on how to remove the other data on your iPhone. It's pretty much the same thing along with applications as well. You may go inside the Mac App Store and download a couple of apps and use those apps. And you got to keep in mind, your Mac is, you know, keeping track of everything you're doing. So it's collecting all of this data constantly, daily, you know, on our Mac. And that's pretty much one of the reasons why I have this wallpaper here on my desktop here that you may see with all of the numbers. What the numbers represent is just zeros to like one hundredths of data that's being taken up on your Mac. So the best way to get rid of that other data is two things you can do all right let's close this down now that we talked about the other data it's an application that i like to use a lot and that application is called daisy disk now uh basically you just want to find you a great application where you can scan your mac you know and go deep down inside your hard drive to see what it is that you're trying to get rid of you know just to make sure that you're deleting the right files before you just start you know, deleting stuff off your Mac. Now, I can easily just tell you in this video, hey, you can go inside Finder, open up your library phone and just start deleting every goddamn thing and getting rid of it. And I'm pretty sure you're going to delete that other data, but I'm not going to do that because that's not what you want to do. So like I said, Daisy Disk is an application that I like to use to scan my hard drive to get deep down inside to do some cleaning and maintenance. This costs $10 on the Mac App Store. When I got this back in the day, it was like five bucks. So I guess I was lucky, but it's a great app. But I will be sure to put a link down below in the description as well for another application that you can try out. It's free and that application is called OmniDisk. Now with OmniDisk, uh, I've never used it, but I've heard that it's a great application. I will also put a link down below in the description on how to use OmniDisk as well. So you can check that out. So hopefully that should work for you. But basically what I'm going to do is with Daisy Disk, I'm going to scan my hard drive like so. While that's now scanning my hard drive, I'm just going to chill and uh, I'll be back. All right, so now that I've just finished my scan here on my Mac with my hard drive, we're going to dig around and I'm going to delete some stuff that I no longer need, or should I say I need, but for this video, I'm just going to delete it anyway just to show you guys what you need to do. So with that being said, we're going to jump into a folder here and I'm going to delete one with a lot of gigabytes, such as uh, serials. Okay, cool. We'll delete serials. All right, now with this folder right here, you'll see I have a bunch of serials in here for applications that I currently use on my Mac, such as, you know, Windows 8.1, uh, On One Perfect Photo Suite, and so on, Adobe Photoshop, and some other stuff. So I'm going to delete one. Um, I guess in this case, I'll just delete my uh, Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so I'm going to take this Adobe Photoshop, and we're just going to drag that to the trash like so. Like I was saying before, you know you want to be careful when you're deleting stuff because even though you have all of this other data that's on your Mac and you may say, oh, wow, you know, I got other data and, you know, I don't need this. Keep in mind, the other data is basically information that's for applications, for stuff that you did in the past or that you're currently working on. So if you just go around and you just start deleting stuff, you know, you'll clear that other data, but it might be some important information that's, you know, connected to an application that you're currently using or, you know, something that you're working on, for instance. My movies here. I know that my movies is most likely taking up some stuff inside other data. I can just simply delete this folder, but 
this is my folder for my iMovies and you know my Final Cut Pro projects that I'm working on and stuff like that. So I don't want to delete that. So just be careful when you're deleting you know stuff to clear out the other data. You know what? I don't really see too much. I'm going to delete here. But uh, pretty much you get the idea. Just so uh, you know, search around until you find some stuff that you want to get rid of. So I got pretty much I got one big large folder here, which is 925.2 megabytes. That's pretty large. That's almost, you know, equivalent to. Well, that's almost a gigabyte. So we're just going to delete that like so. Give it a second. Now, once you delete this, if you're using Daisy disk, you're pretty much going to destroy it forever. So the only way you'll be able to get this back is if you go back in time machine through another hard drive and retrieve it. So once that's done, we're going to just close that. Now, that's one way you can just delete stuff. Another way you can delete stuff is just by going inside Finder. If you know specifically what it is you want to get rid of, you can just throw it in the trash. But when you empty your trash, don't do just a right click and an empty trash. Hold down the command key, then right click and do a secure empty trash. Because when you do a secure, you're writing over your hard drive more than one time to make sure that you're clearing out all of the trash that's affiliated with that item that you're getting rid of. So if it's an application and you just do an empty trash, you're going to delete that application. But if you do a secure delete, you're going to grab some of the other information that was stored with it. So again, like I was saying with the applications, that's also included with the other data. And, you know, uh, as far as emails and, you know, pretty much everything that you do in your Mac, you know. So now that we deleted that one file, which was 925 gigabytes, you just want to go back to the Apple menu again about this Mac. More info and storage and you will see here inside your storage it might go down it should go down if you delete a lot of stuff so right now it currently didn't go down the 74.54 gigabytes because i guess with that one folder that i deleted well that i choose to delete it wasn't no other information stored with it so it didn't go down but right before i started this video mm -hmm. i deleted some movies and some music that i didn't want and my other data was at 77 point, I think 26 gigabytes. I deleted all that stuff and it dropped me down to 74. So just, you know, spend some time over the weekend or whatever, just cleaning out your Mac, scanning everything, because it can take a while because I mean, as you see here, you got a lot of other data that's stored on your Mac. So just, you know, hey, when you're not working, if you're off for a weekend or whatever, or you're off day or whatever, you're just around the house and you're chilling and you got some time, you know, just uh, take the time out to just clean out your Mac. So that's pretty much um, how you can just, you know, keep an eye on your other data and, you know, get rid of some of that stuff that you're not using. I hope this video was very informative for you guys. I hope you guys learned something new. If you did, please rate, comment and subscribe. Again, look down below in the description for the other application that you can use called OmniDisk Sweeper. That application, again, is free. And I will also put a link below on how you can use that application along with Terminal to get rid of some of this other data. Now, the reason why I made this video using this application Daisy Disk is because I know a lot of people are not too familiar with the way Terminal work. And a lot of people don't like to use commands and pseudo commands and stuff like that inside Terminal. You know, and that's one of the things that you would have to do with OmniDisk along with Terminal to you know, delete some of the other data and, you know, to go deep down inside the hard drive to see what it is you're deleting. So again, with this application, Daisy Disk, you see it wasn't no terminal commands or nothing like that. It just costs 10 bucks in the Mac App Store and uh, you can still pretty much do the same thing. So just go deep down inside that hard drive and see what it is you're looking for. And you can have this window open to the left hand side of your Mac screen here and you know, you can have Daisy Disk open over here and you can be deleting stuff and everything. Just, you know, clearing everything out. And as you go along, just trash it and, uh, you know, just give your Mac, you know, a refresh or whatever. Restart or reboot it, you know, and open it back up and just see what your information looks like over here under other. This is your man, Big B Production 100. I'll let you.